Hello, my name is Yemi Ayitibo. I want to quickly bring your attention to this. How to know whether you are under the influence of a manipulator. How to know whether you are under the influence of a manipulator. Manipulation comes in different sizes and shapes. And you can experience this at any level, anywhere. It could be in the family, could be in your faith based setting, could be among your colleagues, could be between the mentor and mentee, it could be between two mutual relationships. So manipulators, manipulators are very subtle and they always make you feel like you are not adequate. What is even manipulate manipulation or who are the who are manipulators? Those who want to coerce you to do things you would not ordinarily want to do in order to benefit them, not to benefit you. They want to make you do some things. They want you to go out of your way to get some things done. They want you to inconvenience yourself to get some things done so that at the end of the day, they will be the beneficiary and not you. Those are manipulators. And how do you identify them? How do you spot them in any, in any relationship? I'm going to give you seven ways to know whether you are under the influence of a manipulator. Number one, when you are made to see your in inabilities, your inadequacies, instead of your strength, they are always pointing you to what you cannot do. They are always pointing you to those things you cannot achieve. They are always making you feel bad about your, your, your inability. They are always magnifying those things that you cannot do. They are always putting them to your face. It could be a sign that you are under the influence of a manipulator. These kind of people, they will come to you and tell you why you cannot do what you cannot do. And they will not give you any help or way out of your of your challenge they will not tell you how to better yourself they will not tell you how to improve on yourself so that you can start doing what you cannot do they don't want to give you the ability to scale the hurdle of your inability to do what you have not been able to do so you always put uh, what you cannot do under a magnifying lens so that you can see your inadequate so that they can now feed on this shortcoming or your, your vulnerability so that they can feed on that your vulnerability that's number one they want to make you feel less than human they want to make you feel inadequate once you begin to see this threat in somebody uh, or in a relationship towards you you could be under the influence of a manipulator number two thing i also want you to watch out for is when someone is trying to isolate you from your circle of productive contact so when somebody is trying to ostracize you alienate you from those who are being your support network it could be that you are under the attack of a manipulator they will tell you things like you don't need anybody you are self-sufficient they will tell you once once you are with me you are fine they will tell you something like if you have too many friends you have it to your own detriment if you have too many contacts you have so they will try as much as possible to isolate you the bible talks about the amalekites amalekites when the israelites were, uh, were were going to the promised land they were the people that they they did so much evil uh, against the children of israel and how did they do it whenever they want to attack the israelites they don't attack them from the front they attack them from the from the back and how did they do it they will first of all isolate the people they want to attack and they will now attack them so it's a it's an amalekite style of attack when you see a manipulator they will try to isolate you they will try to tell you that this one is not good that one is not good everyone is not good except themselves and you so when you see that thread you should think again you could be under the attack of a manipulator so this at this junction i would like you to do something for me quickly i would like you to subscribe to 
my YouTube channel and click the notification bell so you can be notified when we post content like this and many more other great edifying educative spiritual content and not only that i like you to leave me a comment about how you have been able to digest this video and also if you want me to talk more on this particular topic i would like you to make a comment and whatever you have learned as well please put it in the comment i love to read comment i love to read comment please do that and i would appreciate that so number three thing to watch out for to to know whether you are under the influence of a manipulator is when you are always blamed for your inadequacies without giving you any way out so they will always come and show you your shortcomings they will always make you vulnerable they will always make you that you cannot amount to anything they will always make you that like without me you can't get anything so the manipulators they will always show your inadequacies they will always make it feel like you cannot do anything without them they will want you to depend on them they want you to in fact they want you to begin to live like them they want you to begin to speak like them they want to feed you what they want to feed you and they want you to begin to live your life based on what they are feeding you they don't want you to do anything uh, aside them so and they are they do this by pointing you to your inadequacies they are pointing you to why you cannot stand on your own they are pointing you to why you always need them so when you see people or somebody uh, taking this position in your life you need to begin to study or watch it could be that you are under the attack of a manipulator they do this subtly they do this subtly they, they, they can come to you and say do you know that uh, by the grace of god if not for the fact that our pra our path cross maybe you will not be where you are today and then they will always make you to want to to see that if they pull out of your life you are you are you are gone that is how they that is how they present themselves to you that they are the lifeline that is still holding you that once they are out of your life you are you're you going to be into time so when you see things like that it could be that you're under the uh, attack of uh, a manipulator the number four thing you need to watch out for when you are having a relationship with people so that you don't fall under the attack of a manipulator is, is when you are not encouraged to confirm whatever they are feeding you with so a manipulator will not want you to confirm whatever they are telling you they will be using the words like you can't get this anyway they will be using words like this is the best you can get they will be using words like don't don't go out there so that you are you are not fed with junks they will be they will be hearing words like this is the best place to hear the best word you'll be hearing words like that without this place that in fact outside of this place is evil except this place so they will be telling you things like, outside me, there is no other good person. So they don't want you to fact find or fact check you know, what they are saying. They don't want you to seek second opinion. They don't want you to, to tell people what they are telling you. They just want you to listen to them and take their action. Whatever they tell you, they want you to act on it. They don't want you to, to do research. They don't want you to check anything. They just want you to follow them. And doggedly and blindly so when you see somebody doing that to you it could be an indication that you are under the influence of a manipulator and it's so common you so common in in, in our days now that you see especially in a faith-based gathering organized or yes gathering you see this particular faith base is saying and uh, in christianity let me just use that you see lots of that coming uh, when you are part of this uh, denomination you are forbidden to listen to another denomination there are so many factions and all that it's not the will of god it's not the plan of god for the church the plan of god for the church is we have is that we have a church without war is that brothers brethren can draw together in harmony regardless of denomination so when you are in a denomination and what they are telling you is that uh, don't listen to other pastors or friends or members of other denomination. It could be an indication that you are under the attack of a manipulative leader. 
So watch out for that. And then um, at this point, I also want to, I would like to invite you to a workshop, Dominion Faith and Ministries workshop that will be coming up on the 25th of May. It's going to be an online one. It's for all creative ministers, drama ministers, church drama group, drama enthusiasts and all that. So if you know that you are into creative ministry, this will be a very good opportunity for you to meet great people in the industry and in the in the in the ministry in the in the field and also to network and learn new things i will be speaking at the workshop evangelist somebody will be speaking and a couple of others will be speaking so please uh, make it a date there will be the link in the description below just click it and then we will see in class now back to our discussion number five thing you need to watch out for um so that you are, you don't end up be under the attack of manipulator is when they want you to do something they want you to do it now now so when there is a rush when there is a rush when there is a pressure in in asking you to do something you, you might need to take time to pause and check whether it is a manipulative idea or a manipulative uh, endeavor so because these are the things that in fact this with this particular one manipulators use it so much because they don't want you to to have that um, time of you know reflecting and thinking and you no know, thinking it through they don't want to they just want you to hack now now and now so when they begin to, when somebody begin to tell you to hack now and now and you have to do it now and then whatever i tell you is, so you have to carry it now it could be that you are being you are going to you are under the influence of um, a manipulator why why the rush if it's something good and something nice it's something that is going to benefit you why the rush why the rush why the rush if they are if, if it's something if it's a business that's going to benefit you that's going to make you better why the rush why the rush why must you sign the contract now 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 you have not even read the terms and conditions they want you to sign the contract now 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 why why must you give the money now 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 why must you pay for the good now 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 why must you do this course now 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 why must you take the contract and uh, the virgin contract the and uh, sky contract why must you take an insurance now 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 so manipulation is everywhere so do not allow yourself to be manipulated anytime you see somebody telling you you have to do it now you don't have to go through all the terms and condition you don't have to understand it but just start it that know that you are probably under the attack of a manipulator because they don't want you to they don't want you to have that luxury of time to think it through to reflect on it before you make your decision they want you to make a rash decision they want you to just get it done because they know it's going to benefit them not you so anything that is done in rush most times is not good so and this is the this is one of the tools that a manipulator uses to prey on their um, victims which is very very important you know number six thing you need to watch out for when you are dealing with people so that you don't end up being manipulated is when they make you feel horrible anytime you know you do not do what they want you to do a manipulator will make you feel horrible they will make you feel bad anytime you did not do what they want you to do take for instance if they want you to uh, join them in a business and you say you, you you decline because you have other things you are doing a manipulator will put up a fight with you a manipulator will make you feel bad because you do not do what he or she wants you to do so when you see this kind of trait in somebody you need to watch out you might be under the influence of a manipulator why 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 should i do what you want me to do by force if it's a good thing to for me if it's a good thing for me and i didn't do it I, I i would be at loss it's to my own detriment then why are you angry why are you angry if not that you have something you want to go from it why are you making making it look like i have done something bad to you by not doing what you ask me to do if not that you want to manipulate me into something that would be of more benefit to you than me so you you need to think about it as think about it as well you see what i'm talking about so when you see somebody making you feel feel bad feel horrible feel not good because they ask you to do something 
and did not do it. In fact, some will go to the extent of placing a course as I'll be telling you that if you don't do this, then God will deal with you or I will deal with you. If you don't do this, they will make they will make it look like if you don't do it, you are going to you are in, you are you are doomed if you don't do it. So when you see that, I tell you, you need to stand up to it and tell them nothing will happen to me. I'm not doomed. You are not the God that created me. If I don't feel like doing it, I will not do it. I, I refuse to be manipulated. Very, very important. The next thing that you need to watch out for in these people so that you know whether you are under the influence of a manipulator is that when they begin to, 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 to feed on your success, when they begin to feed on your success, so they, they come around... They, 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 they showcase you when you are in your high level, in your, in your high, high, high time. I'm talking about when you are success, you are, you are succeeding. They, 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 they want to associate with you. They want to make, make a boost of you and all that and all that. But anytime you have a little challenge, you see them ostracizing you. You, you see them packing you to the side. Uh, it's a sign that you have just been... You have just been manipulated in one way or the other. So a manipulator we we always want to look for the way things will benefit them than the way things will benefit you. And they will always this one is also very important. They will always want to make you feel like without them you cannot succeed. That is what they do. They will always make you feel like the wisdom, the Power, the secret to your success is in their hands. And because it's in their hand, without them, you cannot succeed. So when you see people like that, I, I, I tell you, run, run for your life. Run for your life. That is not God. That is not good. That is not how it should be. That is not how it should be. And the last thing, a manipulator will always make you fearful. They will always instill this fear into you so that you can always come back to them so that you can always come for advice come for direction they don't want you to be independent they want you to always depend on them they want you to have this fear that things will always go wrong except they are they are involved in whatever you are doing so when you say that i want you to know that you might be under the attack of a manipulator if somebody wants to mentor you if somebody wants to help you they don't have to always make themselves like your alpha and omega that if i'm not there you will not succeed no no help doesn't work like that if i want to help you i still need to allow you your power of choice i still need to allow you to think i still need to allow you to see what i'm talking about i still need to allow you to arrive at insight help is not manipulation to help somebody is not to put them under to help somebody is not to enslave them. So you, we need to, you need to see all this. So in the course of you looking for help, don't end up being manipulated. Some people, because they, they were looking for help and they needed the help, they end, ended up in the hand of manipulators and they even became worse than they, they, they started. So don't, don't allow because of help or don't allow people to manipulate you in the pretext of trying to help you because manipulators come with that kind of um, approach they manipulate they, they come with that kind of face face mask that they want to help you and because you believe they can help you they begin to manipulate you so watch out for all this and i believe you will be liberated from any plan or hands of any manipulator i hope you enjoyed this uh, short video uh, please don't forget to subscribe like our podcast and, and our videos and also leave a comment and then i will see you next time bye bye